That's right. right. From from Moho. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. And you'll set up the stage because uh, we're, we're talking about the anniversary of the yes. 2000, which was a few days ago, actually, right, over the yeah. weekend we saw all the coverage. Yeah, and everything, but. yeah so fr last Friday, May 3rd, was the 20th anniversary of the May 3rd, 1999 tornadoes. And, um, you know, for me, personally, um, I grew up between Coyle and Mall, uh, is, is where, where I grew up. And um, that was the first time I really experienced a, um, a tornado that was kind of one that you, you were actually scared about, and uh, I can remember growing up, and you know, my dad taking me outside and us watching tornadoes form over Lake Carl Blackwell, and you know, and things like that. But um, that was the first time that I can. I mean, we we actually came into Stillwater. My father was a police officer, and we actually came into Stillwater to the police department and took shelter here because we didn't have a storm shelter, and um, we personally were without power for a week as a result of oh, that really? storm because it destroyed the the Mall Hall substation at Central. Uh, got their power from and served that whole area, and so it was. It was kind of the first time in my life that I really started to understand the power of a tornado. And um, and when we when we started to talk about the anniversary of, of May third and and how that affected us at Central Electric, we thought about reaching out to somebody from the Mall Hall community to come on and tell their story. And Ray actually um, lived in that area and and, and experienced himself. So. Ray, why don't you just you know kind of share what that night was like for you and that next morning when you drove into town and, and just what you saw. It was an interesting evening to say the least. Uh, uh, I was right on the path of that tornado. Unfortunately, our home wasn't destroyed, but everything around it was. And uh, but what really got me was the next morning when I went into town. Uh, it just brought back memory of Southeast Asia. I couldn't believe how one storm could destroy so much stuff. Uh, I mean, we lost 75% of our homes in that town. Uh, we lost our school, churches. Uh, I'm just, I'm just glad it was at night uh, because I believe uh, uh, it had it been through the day that uh, the way the school was destroyed, well, we would have really had a, several fatalities. Yeah. And, uh, so when you hear the, the, the term, and most of us haven't earned the right, like you obviously have, to say a war zone, you have obviously also served your country. Yes. So I that's do. very much appreciated as well. Thank you. Thank but, you. but you could equate that then. And, you know, uh, and then after I, <clears throat> after I kind of got myself gathered from seeing the destruction, then I went to missing like the trees. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Maha yeah. had several trees. Yeah. Maha was really a pretty town mm -hmm. before the tornado. And uh, it's, uh, uh, but on the positive side, there was no fatalities. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like uh, one gentleman I heard say, he said, it was like Satan and God had a, a fight in Maha. And God said, well, you can have my structures, but you can't have my people. And uh, it was just, uh, it's, uh, it was a... Uh, sure. What all have they, Ray, what all has been rebuilt? I've been there since then because I have friends that have family there. Yeah. Uh, and so there's always, we all have a connection of sorts, and I yeah. don't know much about Mulhall except through their stories and stuff. Right. But they've done a good job, haven't they? Yes, we, you know, there was two churches destroyed, the school and our water tower. That's an interesting story, wasn't it? When uh, the tornado took it down, the house, it took a house off the foundation. The house wasn't destroyed by the tornado, but <laughs> 55,000 gallons of water hitting the house at one time, it just lifted it up off the foundation and, wow. and moved it over. And uh, But yes, and there's a lot of new, and new homes and uh, uh, new school and the result of the tornado. Both schools and uh, got storm shelters now and uh, we, uh, of course, they built that in when we built a new school back in Mall, and then we did a bunk uh, issue to uh, yeah. do the one to high school. And uh, it was just a, and then uh, getting into town was a, an interesting uh, trip because what used to be on the south side of the road was all on the north side of the road, and uh, fences, your, mm -hmm. the CRC poles, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, everything. And it's even some uh, one spot, it took the blacktop off the road. 
Wow. That's how well, I was right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah it was you mentioned the, the trees. I went to, uh, I lived for five years, I lived in Joplin. Mm -hmm. And I went to Joplin that weekend after the tornado there. Yeah. Um, and that's what I noticed. Yeah. The, 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 because you couldn't tell what neighborhood you were in. Right. I mean, it took all of its personality and character away. Yeah. And you don't really realize what makes a town, but it's not really the houses, although the houses were gone. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Joplin was devastated, much like Mulholland only multiplied. Yeah. Big, bigger. Yeah. But the, the trees are what I noticed, too. I mean, you could see all the way across town. Yeah. Which is pretty, you know, humbling. Yeah. And a tornado kind of leaves you thinking, how do you have four houses at an intersection? Three of them still standing, but the fourth one's gone. Right. It's, uh, I mean, it's just... How, how, how many people stayed? What, most of the people that you know most say we're people, rebuilding, this is our home? Uh, most of the people rebuilt, we had some that left. And we've had new ones move in since, so, you know, uh, it's, uh, so we're still rebuilding. Yeah. And to Ray's point, when you talk about a tornado and how random it is, when you have four homes on a corner and one stands and the other three, we actually on Facebook last and Facebook and Twitter posted um, some pictures. Um, Central uh, hired a helicopter to come in to survey the storm damage between uh, not just Mall Hall, but between Mall Hall, uh, Stroud, Perry, Orlando, and Crescent. Uh, Central had 42 miles of line that was destroyed during that that event, wow. and so um, Central hired a helicopter to come in to help survey damage to see where um, uh, they could get the, the power back on the quickest. Uh, for people, and you look at pictures of Mall Hall, and I've got I've got one right here. I don't know if I want to show you or not, Ray, uh, <laughs> to take you back to that day or not. But yeah, you see you see a home that looks like it's just not been touched, and then all around it, everything else is gone. And it's just incredible to think of, of how that even works or how that even happens. Right. Yeah. When we have uh, weather events now, and luckily we haven't had one like that in a little while. Yeah. But there's always the threat. How do you feel? Because you've been through it in a different way than most of us. Uh, they say tornado, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, do you have, do you after, have seeing, after seeing the destruction, not only in Maho, but around the country where they've had these big tornadoes, uh, get underground. It's just, yeah. don't, don't, don't think about it, just do it. Yeah. I figured that when it comes out there, you don't mess with it. <laughs> right. The commercials uh, say you don't mess with Mother Nature. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. There's no way to tame it. And you know, uh, and I don't know Mulhall very well at all, as I mentioned before, but what a wonderful location. You're right on the, or right on the highway. You're not far from not far from Stillwater, which right. is an awesome place, and not that far from the city either. Right. right. So right. Uh, when people sometimes wonder, I wonder how you end up in Mulhall, mm -hmm. I understand completely. Yeah. Well, and Ray's, Ray's a big part of um, trying to spur new economic development there in the Mall Hall area. There's, um, you know, if you look at that I-35 and Highway 51 uh, connection point uh, there in northern Oklahoma, um, there's a, a lot of potential there for towns like Mall Hall and Orlando, who actually, um, Orlando has stripped annex one side of, um, mm -hmm. of that uh, intersection. Uh, Mall Hall has stripped annex the other. And so Ray is, is a part of trying to help doing some economic development in that area, trying to get water to that area so uh, development can happen. And um, not only does that benefit Mall Hall and Orlando, it also benefits communities like Stillwater and all of us here in north central Oklahoma with that type of development. Ray, do you want to speak to some of that that you, your group's working on? Yeah, you know, right now we're in a process of uh, really trying to figure out how much water we need. Uh, we've got businesses who want to build them now that we've talked about putting water out there. There's been more land come for sale. We've got people say, well, you know what, I've got some acreage out here. I think I can build homes on it. And uh, it's uh, in talking about helping Maho Orlando, uh, that location, I believe, is going to help uh, southeast Garfield County, mm -hmm. southwest Noble County, northern half of uh, Logan, and western half of Payne. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think water there and a few roads here and there. And the future is bright, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it yeah. really is. And uh, uh, every time some I talk to somebody, well, uh, we want to build there. But you get to the point, 
we got to start getting water and uh, where is it going to come from and how much do we need to get because uh, you sure don't want to cut yourself short and before you can grow uh, financially have to do a, 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 right. a, a an upgrade, upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. and uh, so you know uh, but we've looked at it long enough I think it's time that we say hey this is what we want to do and hope it works the best. Yeah, absolutely. You're ready to, as the saying goes, you're ready to get off the pot, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Daniel used that saying the other day. That's the only way I know it. So. Sure, yeah, yeah. I think your listeners <laughs> believe that <laughs> saying. Sure. Are you on the boards and city councils and all that stuff? I have a funny no, feeling no, sir. that you're a leader of the community. No, so. what, well, no, sir. I'm not on the. I'm not any. You don't have to be. To, I'm not on any board either. For sure. uh, I was helping them on another project when they decided they wanted to look at this, and and uh, I just told them I'd help them. Yeah. So, uh, well, uh, those type towns are the uh, the heartbeat of America. They are absolutely. And um, Ball Hall's got a big event coming up uh, on May 25th. Want to yes. make sure to get that information out there. Yes. Uh, Ball Hall Day celebration. Um, there'll be a parade. Um, Vendors can set up booths and just you know have a, a fun day there in the community. Um, uh, Central, we're, we'll be in the parade. We'll have a bucket truck in that parade that day. We actually we sent an email out to our employees and said, hey, anybody who wants to participate, please do. And they're, they're remembering the 20th anniversary of the tornado. We've actually got retirees that want to come back who worked that day and want to want to march in that parade because wow. they remember you know that for you know too much straight. Um, what they did to, to get the power back on to communities like Mall Hall. So that'll be a fun day in Mall Hall, and I know there's information on Facebook and online to, 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 to learn more about it, but May 25th is the date of that event. And if you want to come visit a cool little town in our area, that would be a, a fun yeah. day to come experience Mall Hall. Well, keep us posted. Yeah. Because yeah. it sounds like there's great things ahead. Yeah, well, I got, you know, our events, they've got some events scheduled for that. They've got a poker run at 9, and the parade starts at 11. And we have two uh, grand marshals this year, parade marshals this year. Uh, Kay Dixon, a lifetime member of Mall Hall, and uh, Mr. Pangburn, he was the mayor of the 99 when the 99 okay. tornado came through. So needless to say, uh, I'm pretty sure that he could tell you some stories that you probably wouldn't want to put on the air because, <laughs> you know, everybody's in a disarray and nobody can get, I mean, I'm sure that uh, he experienced some things that you and I that yeah yeah would not. And you you see that side, yeah, but you also see the great side of people. Oh, yes, yeah, you yeah. sure do. We mentioned last week, and I hope I was right. That I think I told Daniel this. Didn't Billy Ray Cyrus come to town? Yes, mm -hmm. he did. He did. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. I, the way I maybe it wasn't in our segment, but the way I understand in seeing him do interviews or whatever, they've done a concert. I don't remember if it was in Texas or whatever, but we're following the story. And just wanted to help. Yeah, yeah. It's, they, yeah. And so they, yeah. I think, stopped at a Walmart or something and just loaded things up. Yep. Is that about right? right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he set up right there by the uh, original bank building in Mall. Yeah. yeah. That second oldest bank building in the state of Oklahoma. There you go. But I thought just stories yeah. like that because people, yeah. and the way I understand, he thought, well, you know, the people and and more need help, but they're getting all this attention. Right. And then there are places that, that maybe not. Getting the attention like Mall Hall. Right Absolutely, now. because yeah. just of where you are in the sure. uh, in the metro area. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, but that's coming up the 25th. Yeah, 25th in Mall Hall. Uh, uh, the plans are going to try to show the movie Twister that evening. <laughs> 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 uh, so, I, you know, I. Uh, uh, now, see, have you have you like invited Helen Hunt or anything like that? Well, you know, uh, uh, no, we haven't, but. Uh, you never well, know. Castro Nani uh, will be there. Okay. I understand. So, uh, because because when they were filming Twister, when tornadoes hit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and from what I understand, that the cast and crew were very moved and actually helped and made donations and stuff like that. Yeah, right. But I but you you probably hear back from her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but you know, Daniel you know, and I show up if you did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going there, Helen Hunt. Sir. But you're right. There's a lot of a lot of people that uh, uh, came in and helped and donated time, equipment, and materials, and uh, and uh, overall the town of Mahal really pulled together. The people did absolutely. Yeah. And uh, of course, everybody has their up and downs, but sure. uh, 
as a whole, uh, I think the people want to be proud of themselves, but they, what they accomplished after that. So, yeah. Good appearance. Your first time on the radio, you said. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. star. You, you did star. Did, you did great. Yeah. No, I'd like to do follow-ups. Yeah, absolutely. On how long was doing. Yeah. Absolutely. We, we, we might like this. Let's get something big going. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, whatever you need, just you, you go through Daniel and you can contact me and we'll, we'll get you on the air. Absolutely. Well, yeah, and I want to say one thing about CRC. Uh, after the tornado, I was out of electricity this the week. These guys had power back into me. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Did you take in people into your house? Because there, there, was, there were so many people that lost their homes. Right. Uh, no, I live out in the rural part of the area. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, we did have some people bring some travel homes in for people to live in. Yeah. So. Had to. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. thank you guys for having me. Thank, thank you, Ray. Thank you for joining us, Ray. Yeah.